Hello, everyone, and I need to turn on my light. Shit. Again, every time. <sighs> All right, everyone, we are back with some more uh, Xbox Game Pass. So much Xbox Game Pass. My uh, my storage is officially crammed full. Um, shit, I am having pro I am having problems trying to think of what I, I need to play next. I guess we should just go down the list. And play whatever. I've already gotten rid of a bunch of stuff I downloaded. Because uh, a lot of it was garbage. Uh, should I do a quick review over everything? Okay, so I played Unravel last night. Uh, complete shit. Uh, well, this morning. Complete shit. Uh, Unravel was complete trash. Don't play it. Uh, <laughs> that game... It was like EA trying to catch... Um, trying to latch on to the whole... Uh, artsy indie game thing right like complete trash uh i got rid of that i got rid of um i got rid of Un unravel 2 uh no interest in that uh was i playing titanfall did i delete titanfall I, I wanted to play some more titanfall okay i think i did i think i got through the tutorial but the tutorial took a while to get through uh let's see dead space yeah so ea games are now on uh are now on Xbox Game Pass, and uh, I am shocked at how awful, like, literally all this shit is. Like, Anthem, are you serious? Anthem is so terrible, I didn't even bother downloading it. I probably will for streaming purposes, but, uh... Again, this is why I like Game Pass, because I can play all this bullshit and just show you how bad gaming is at the moment. Like, this is the thing that's really baffling to me. Like, going through this list of games that you can download for free on Xbox Game Pass, like some of the best, uh, most well-received games of the past decade, you know, the, the Dead Spaces, the Dragon Ages, the uh, Mass Effects, like going down this list, you realize really, really quickly, like playing a lot of this stuff, you realize that these games, most of these games are complete bullshit, complete unplayable bullshit like uh they're so terrible and, and you suddenly start to realize just just why people are so attached to shit like the witcher 3 red dead redemption 2 or uh the last of us because you know this is probably worse like to be completely honest with you like it feels like a lot of this is uh is a lot worse um let's see so i i, I played like this game called uh black where was it is it here or is it was it is that a Game Pass game? I guess it must have been a Game Pass game. Uh, Black was shit. Uh, yeah, here it is. Black, that was shit. Uh, this game was like bl gray and brown, the shooter. Like, I thought that was like an Xbox 360 thing, but apparently they were doing it in 2005 as well. Um, I, I guess I just wasn't aware of the stereotype then. Uh, Burnout Paradise, that was shit. Uh, let me see, what else did I play? I think that's all I got through, all I tried. Uh legit like i think the only good game on this list is probably shadows of the damned and uh i will be playing that probably all the way through again i've been wanting to do it uh i love that game uh let's see everything else here maybe alice is good uh maybe dragon age will be better than i'm expecting but uh i i don't expect much from like these ea games all right uh let's see what this is i i don't even know what this game is battlefield 1943 <laughs> like okay uh let's see how bad it is why do you always connect? Like, no. I just want to play the game. No. Wait. You, you got to be kidding me, right? You can't? Play the game without signing into an account. No, I, I, I'm not doing that. Fuck that. No. Fuck that. That's not gonna happen. Uh, complete crap. Like, just let me play the game. Stop. I am sick of these third-party games demanding you give up an email so you can play on their online server. Like, no. Just let me play the game. All right. I'm sick of I'm sick of their tutorials. I'm sick of their um I'm sick of their um cutscenes and I'm sick of this. Like enough. Like no, I don't want to subscribe to your service. Like under any circumstances. Like shit. Unbearable. Just ugh. So fucking shitty. So so shitty. All 
Okay, Battlefield 3. So I, I'm really curious as to whether Battlefield actually is better than COD or not, or whether that's just, like, bullshit from EA shills. I, I don't know. Uh, I hate COD. Like, I'll be upfront about that. Is there really no good first-person military shooter, like, franchise right now like that, that's kind of baffling to me like such a big prolific thing doesn't have a single success really legitimately good game in its um in its lineup because playing black it really like made me realize just how much better golden eye and perfect dark were than this modern shit like I, i've always said that but like playing something that isn't well remembered like black playing something like that playing like some generic game from 2005 it really just shows you just how terrible Everything is... Alright, so we are not playing campaign. I am not bothering with the campaign on this. I, I just want to... I just want to play online. I just want to have an idea. Like, is this going to work? Or is it going to make me sign up for uh, something again? Oh, but that's right. There's not going to be online multiplayer, is there? Because there's no way that people are actually still playing this online, right? Because, like, I, I tried to play, like, mo Modern Warfare online, and uh, nobody was still on. It was it was done. Th that's the downside to uh, online multiplayer games that I don't think anybody really talks about, is that, like, no one plays these games after the new one comes out. It's, um... Like, Splatoon has an audience, because, like, Splatoon is such a unique thing, but these generic military games... They can't retain their audience. They're just dead really, really quickly. Why is it taking so long to load? No. Load! They, they can't... What is with this? Like, in any other game, you could just press a button. Like, I can understand if it was connecting, but loading? What, what is this? Like... What are they doing? Like, EA is the absolute worst. Like... Forget the microtransactions, forget killing off their IPs, forget killing off all these studios. Like, they can't even have you press a button and play a game. Like, they make you sit through... I'm curious how long this is going to be. Like, I would close this... I would close the screen right now and uninstall the game if, um... If... <laughs> I wasn't streaming. Uh, let's see. Battlefield 1 is available now. Jump into the dawn. Why would I want to play Battlefield One? Oh, that, that's the one that came after this, right? Was that a remake of the original? Like, wh what's the deal with Battlefield? I don't. I know nothing about the franchise. I, I don't. So wait, wait. It's been that long to put out a ad for the next game in the series. Like, <sighs> fucking bullshit. Uh, fucking bullshit. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, this is why um, these companies aren't going to be able to, to succeed on Xbox Game Pass is because like their games simply don't hold up, right? They don't have an they don't have any lasting appeal. Not really. Not the way that like Nintendo does. Like you're never going to see EA like re-release like games from 30 years ago and be successful. You know what I mean? Like it's never ever going to happen. They can't even release a game from like 10 years ago. When did this come out? Like this came out in uh, 2000. When did this come out? I I'm curious. But when did it come out? Hang on, can I check? Um, let's see, yeah. Let's see if we can uh, get a date on this thing. 2013, I would say? Buy to own? Why would I own it? Oh. Okay, shit. Um... Yeah, it does not take this long to load up a screen. Yep, it, it's shit. Uh, completely incompetent. Like, EA has no idea what they're doing. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uninstall. Should I go ahead and unst uninstall the new ones? Oh, there's a Battlefield 4 as well. Yeah, I might as well get rid of that. Um, I, I'm sick of, like, trying trying all these uh, <laughs> all these franchises, like, hoping one of them will someday be good. And it never actually happens. Like, they're all, all terrible. 
Uh, oh yeah, Celeste. Okay, so I was playing Celeste. Um, let's wait a little bit before going for that again, though. Uh, how about Dante's Inferno? I know nothing about Crisis. I know nothing about Dante's Inferno. Uh, let's play some Crisis. Um, they released like a remastered version on Switch, so I. Are, are they really re-releasing games at full price on Switch while putting them on Xbox Game Pass? Like, are they kidding? Like, seriously. Unbelievable. No one's going to be buying games on Switch, like, under that condition, under those conditions. I'm not going to be playing game, uh, buying games on Switch under those conditions. Like, these companies really are trying to make Xbox Game Pass, like, the desirable way to play games. Which I, I suppose it's, like, for me... I suppose it's actually a good thing because so many of these games are trash, but, uh, um, with like, personally, what I'm hoping for right now, uh, is for, is for Xbox Game Pass to come to Switch. Like, that's my big thing right now. I, I want this to be available on Nintendo consoles. You should be able to play this on all platforms. Um, like, I think once that happens, like, PlayStation won't be able to compete and want we'll to see just, no, I don't want to, I don't want to see cutscenes. Uh, choose storage device. Yeah, whatever. Campaign. So this is, uh, one of those... This is the game that people, like, uh, 20 years ago... Uh, 20 years ago. 10 years ago were telling me was, like, one of the most gorgeous games ever made. Like, this is the game that PC gamers spent years trying to tell me, like, define PC gaming. So, uh, I'm really curious as to how much I'm gonna hate it. Like, I... I cannot imagine it's all that good. Um... Because, again, these people were full of shit, like, about everything, <laughs> like, they've ever told me, um, as I became aware of in later in life, once I actually had the capability to own a gaming PC. Again, I was... Oof. I hate, like, bring constantly bringing up the fact that I was poor, like, all the time at every frame. Um... You know what? Wait. Okay, yeah, we're skipping cutscenes. I, I I don't care about the cutscenes. I want the game. I want to see those graphics. Okay, let's see what the graphics look like. If these games don't even look as good as... Uh, I, I don't get what... It was in, like, 2010, I think, when people were telling me this game was gorgeous. And, and uh... I don't know, were PC gamers just delusional? Like, uh, I, I'm really curious. Uh, it certainly doesn't look all that impressive. Like, uh, what? My shoot's gone! My damn shoot is gone! I've got no main, no reserve. Right. What happened to my parachute? So I don't have a parachute, so I'm dead. What stole my parachute? Okay. Yeah, such good graphics. I, I couldn't even see what was going on there. Okay. What the hell was that? I don't know, but you missed the LZ. Make your way to the beach. On my way. All right. Anyone hit the LZ? You guys are all over the place. Check in. Down and on the move. That's a turtle. Oh, please don't tell me I have to kill turtles. I fucking love turtles, man. Uh, I've made it to the beach. You hit the water pretty hard. Some of your suit functions. So what makes this game? Oh, yeah. Look at the, look at that graphical pop in right there. Yeah, and this is an Xbox One, so uh. Yeah, what what makes this game so stunning? Like, th there's nothing. Like, oh, it came out 2007. Well, yeah. Look at look at the wa terrible water effects. Yeah, not not very impressive. Um. So this was an EA game that might explain like the weird hype around it, because like uh, plebs and normies tend to uh, tend to like not really know what else is out there. You, you know what I mean? Like they tend to, they tend to just shit on things without uh, praise things without like knowing what they're talking about. Like that was kind of my experience with Mass Effect too. Um, because, like, the narrative with Mass Effect for a really long time was that Mass Effect was, like, one of the most complex, like, uh, well-fleshed-out sci-fi universes ever with, like, really complex moral decisions. But, like, as I established during my stream of the game, that, that isn't true at all. Like, it, it basically just plagiarizes all sorts of, like, sources from uh, 
other well-known uh, sci-fi franchises. Uh, Star Trek in particular. Oh, does it not have health regen? Oh, that, that, that's actually a good thing. Holy shit. I am I am so unused to, like, modern... Uh, oh, no, it does have health regen. It was just a lot slower than usual. Okay. Um, I am so unused to, like, uh, playing a shooter with... Uh, with an actual health, with an actual health bar, it, it throws me through, through a loop when I do have one. Um, like they need to bring health bars back. They, they, they need to do something because like auto health refills are like the worst thing ever. Like I, I've been saying that since 2007. Like I cannot take shooting games seriously until they get rid of uh, auto regen. Like it makes sense in like Splatoon, but not in like actual military first person shooter games. Like no. Like, you should be, you should be avoiding getting shot. Like, just, ugh. Like, I don't get how Goldeneye got it so right, but, uh, this can't do shit. Alright, uh. Let's see, where's my objective? Oh, so it's one big map. It's an open world shooter. Is that why people thought it was so gorgeous? Like, oh, it's an open world first person shooter, huh? Uh, let me see here. Oh, 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 that's a bro. No marker or anything. Like I would be, I would be terrible in an actual military operation like this because I can't, tell, I can never tell the good guys and the bad guys apart in games. So I'd probably just shoot my own guys like over and over and over again. Like, ugh. Well, I don't know. Like, I, ugh. I don't know. It's kind of hard to say. Like, would I be better at this in real life? Like, I, I guess not, but I, I guess if you were here in real life, you'd have all the training you needed. So I, I guess if I was trained, I could do it. But th that's kind of my perspective on everything. Like, if I was just trained, I could do anything I want. But, uh, of course, they don't want to train you for whatever reason. They want you to go into debt to, like, be a slave for life. Like, I cannot get over that. Like, I really can't believe they really expect you to, uh... To go to college, put yourself in severe debt, like, just to make a little bit more money, like. It's really weird seeing the amount of people I know who went to college, who, um, who made more than me for, like, a year or so, and are now, like, completely miserable because they have to work all the time to, to pay everything off. Meanwhile, like, I'm doing all this crazy stuff um, with, my, with my books and business and website, YouTube channel, like, all this stuff. Um... Jeez. I, I noticed this at my last job. Uh, a lot of the people with uh, college degrees, like the higher ups, like supervisors, stuff like that, like they legit thought that with uh, with their uh, education, they would be in a lot better, in a much better position than what they were. So uh, when the, s s um, here they are dealing with people like me with no education and uh, who are way happier than who are way happier than they are uh, as well. Like again, I have. Um, Again, like, I look better than them, um, I have more money, I, I'm happier than they are, um, I haven't been divorced or anything like that. Like, the, these people just, uh, going to college, putting themselves in such debt, like, Shit, really bitch. put themselves in a horrible, horrible position. Uh, I, I, I cannot Test begin to tell you how Test ridiculous it is. Um, I don't, I, don't, I don't know, man. Like, avoiding college was probably one of the better decisions I ever made, like, to be honest with you. Like, I thought it was, like, a bad one, like, for a really, really long time. But, like, seeing where I've ended up, seeing where everyone else has ended up, like, shit, man. Shit, it's ridiculous. All right, um. What about Aztec, sir? Yeah, I, I, was just, I, I was just being told yesterday that a bunch of people, like, I went to school with are dead now. Um... Like, I, I don't know if, if I knew them personally, but people I that were there at the same time I was are dead. And I, I'm not really sure what the uh, what the issue with that was. Like, maybe it was drugs, maybe it was accidents, maybe it was, like, whatever. You know what I mean? But, like, to think that, like, I'm living, like, this fulfilling life while, like, people I went to school with are fucking in the ground is just really, really strange to me. Because, like, I, um, I, I think I've talked about this before, but, like, I was very depressed, um... When I was in high school, uh, well, 
because I was um, in such a bad position financially in high school, um, because of like my inability to do anything, because of uh, <laughs> because of certain situations, uh, I legit thought that I wouldn't be able to survive past like at twenty. Like I thought I was going to like just die somewhere and nobody would give a shit and uh, nobody did give a shit but in the end uh, I didn't die and uh, that's that's all that matters like he here's the thing I've come to realize that people didn't care about me in high school because they were terrible people that, that, that's all it is like it had nothing to do with me because I was doing everything I could to be successful to be happy to be to put myself out there to achieve my goals stuff like that um, But, like, everyone around me was intent on, like, completely fucking me over for whatever reason. Like, uh, um, like, teachers wouldn't give me extra help if I asked for it. Um, did, did I tell you that story about, like, the girl I was with? Like, how the teacher kept, like, coming around asking her if she needed help and, like, ignored me when I asked. Like, did I, did I tell that story <laughs> when I was with my girlfriend? A super beautiful girl. Um, oops. So what is my even my mission? Am I just killing a bunch of? Oh, am I just killing a bunch of people for existing? Your crime is uh, being in a crisis. No matter how many I kill, EA games will continue to get me. Yeah, I, I'm not impressed with this, by the way. Uh, like, there's nothing impressive about it. Like, what? why? Because that's open environment? Who, who gives a shit? Like, it's on a tropical island? Who cares? Like, it has guns in it? Who gives a fuck? Oh, wait. Can I get in the car? Oops. Oh, you can. Okay. Uh, Alright, so let's just stay in the car and uh, cruise around the island. Oh, you can kill the uh, building. That's pretty awesome. Oh, the vehicle has its own, uh... I kind of like the vehicle uh, aspect of it. I mean, I, I kind of wish this, the, uh, the handling was a bit better. Like, I think you go a little bit too fast. Maybe if I just hold the, bu the button lighter... There we go. Um... Oh, wow. Okay, so it, blo it, it just blows up and you don't survive. Okay. Shit, I was, I was, gonna, I was planning on spending the entire game in that car. I was gonna spend my uh, the rest of my life in that vehicle. So I I don't know if anybody I know from high school is dead. A anybody I knew personally, anybody I was close with, I don't think so. Um, but uh, I, I I guess it's very possible. Um, or even likely at this stage. Um, it gets more likely every year. Like, um, every ten years for sure. Uh, I haven't gotten word- I haven't gotten word from anyone, but, um, again, I don't- I don't talk to those people. Like, fuck them. Um. Hmm. Ah, the sun. Truly a beautiful- <laughs> A beautiful entity that brings life on this planet. Uh, oops. What's it? Wait, is this one of my guys? Wait, wait what are we doing? Wait, where am I supposed to be going? Wait, wait. Oh, oh, wait. It was a bad guy. Okay, let me check the chat here. Yeah, I've not been following the chat at all. Uh, I've been too, too busy trying to decide like whether I hate this game or not. I have a. Uh, I, I guess I don't hate it, but, like, it's not great. Like, that, that's the thing that really gets me, though. It's like, this is, like, one of the most uh, accomplished PC games ever made. The one that people still bring up when it comes to, like, graphic debates and stuff like that. And it's not really... It's not really anything worth talking about. It's just mediocre at best. Um, and they get start caught up in the chat real quick. Let's see. Oh, no, no. Trump definitely won. Uh, I am 100% certain. <laughs> I haven't been streaming over the last couple of days. I, I think people were uh, had this misconception that I was, like, hiding from the, like, the, the public. No. Uh, Trump did win. 
and that is going to become more apparent uh, in the next couple of weeks. Like, before uh, December, I would say. Uh, honestly, like, I would say even next week, because we made major strides forward already. It, it's very... Oh, what the fuck? Wait, oh, you can switch between them? All right. Uh, we've made major strides forward already when it came to, like, exposing how system systemic uh, election fraud works. It, it's, it's been known for a long time. Um, I've talked to people all over the country who have, like, kind of said the same things I'm saying uh, about areas that I'm not, like, familiar with. Um, I do think the Democrats completely fucked up. Like, I legit think they thought they were going to get away with this. They were going to have the mainstream media, like, uh, uh, censor everything and just, like, push this narrative that, like, uh, that it's just a conspiracy, bro. Just a conspiracy theory, bro. When uh, it clearly, clearly isn't. Um, it's it's going to be a bloodbath. It, it kind of already is. Because, um, like, nobody trusts these Republicans coming out and, like, insisting there was no election fraud. Like, nobody takes Mitt Romney seriously, okay? Mitt Romney is a piece of shit. Like, I've, uh, like, he, here's the thing about the, Repu the, Repu the Republicans. Like, Trump supporters aren't really Republicans. Because, like, most, most Trump supporters would never have actually voted Republican. Because most Republicans are just as terrible as Democrats. We are Trump supporters. And as a result, people side with, more with Trump than they do with the party. So, like, as a result, like, if, unless you go along with Trump and what he's doing... Um, like, people don't take you seriously. It's so, so, um, oof. So yeah, I, I, I don't take people like Mitt Romney seriously. Um. Oh yeah, oops. Yeah, this really is boring. It's like, like I, I mean, there's some things I kind of like about it. Nothing to do with the visuals, though. Like, I kind of like how the, how the, uh, the buildings are destructible. I kind of like the vehicles. Other than that, though, maybe maybe the setting is kind of a little bit different than what we've seen before. But uh, other than that, I skipped the cutscene, so I don't really know anything about the story at all. But, uh, wait, they're just coming at you? Oh, you just jumped out of that jeep? Oh, hang on. So oh, he just jumped out of that jeep and let me take it? Like, what the fuck? Why did we land on, like, the wrong side of the island? Like, why are we nowhere near our, our objective? I'm not even sure what we're trying to accomplish here. I'm just shooting guys. We're getting in my way. Uh... Wow. How pathetic is that? Like, he had, like, the clear advantage there. But... Uh, oops. Uh... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm bored, honestly. Uh... It's not that complicated, it's not that fun. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll get rid of this and crisis games. Yeah, I think I've got I'm, I'm not really enjoying it. So that's that's Crisis. Uh, not very good game. Uh, it doesn't look very good, it's not all that fun to play. Uh, that's that. Alright, so Dante's Inferno. Let's see how this goes. Let's, let's see how this goes. Oh no, I'm very successful. Visceral hmm. Games. Oh, so this is from the same company that did uh, Dead Space, so, uh... Does that mean it was shit? I know nothing about this one, either. Like, I keep seeing people bring this up, but, like... Yeah, I I've read the, the the Divine Comedy, and I haven't played this. So that doesn't uh, tell you everything. <laughs> Anything. It doesn't tell you what I'm like. Uh, okay. Uh, the minions of hell will pose a threat, but ultimately cannot withstand you. So how long is it going to be until we get, like, an abandon all hope? All ye who enter in. 
In the year 1191, a European knights of the Third Crusade captured the city of Acre, Acre, about 30 miles from Jer Jerusalem. Under orders from King Richard, th uh, 3,000 civilian prisoners were detained. They were held as ransom for a holy relic. Well, he's clearly just as terrible as Donald Trump. Um, as the hot summer wore on, Richard is not my king. Prince John is my true one, one savior. He's our true ruler. His taxes are completely warranted and completely justified and completely reasonable. Uh, okay. On the journey of life, I found myself in a dark forest. For the clear path was lost. Yeah, I really wonder how long uh, people are going to continue pretending. Uh, what the fuck is that? Ugh. I really wonder how long the media can keep up this facade that uh, Donald Trump lost the election. Like, they are really embarrassing themselves right now. Like, this is straight up, like, Russia, Russia uh, rigged the election, tired delusions. How do we go? How the fuck do we go from a uh, Russian rigged rigged the U.S. election to, like, rigging the U.S. election is simply not possible by the mainstream media. Like, that's just... Isn't that really fucking stupid? Like, why don't more people see... Th why don't the Biden supporters see through this? Well, they, they probably do to a certain extent, but they, they don't want to, um... I... After this... This situation, like, I am 100% convinced that, like, Biden supporters, the Democrats, SJWs, they have no standards at all. Like, they'll do anything it takes to win on it. Uh... Wait a minute, it's a Dark Souls clone? Oh wait, no it's not. Uh, I saw like the camera angle, I was like, wait a minute, is this a... Okay, so it's a hack and slash, wait, what the fuck does this have to do with Dante? Wait, okay. It's like a Warriors game, okay, whatever. What the fuck is this shit? Alright, uh... Ah, uh, it's reminding me of Devil May Cry, and that's not a good thing. These enemies are almost as boring and generic as the shit you see in the original Devil May Cry. Like, the fucking puppets? Like, <laughs> come on. Like, did I just get two two achievements just by mashing the X button? Like, okay, uh... Man, this came out in 2010. What is with EA games looking so behind the times? Like, I played, like, SSX Tricky. That looked like shit. Like, I played, like, um... How is EA the biggest name in gaming? Like, I don't understand it. They suck. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to play more of this before I, like, uh, decide what to feel about it. Uh, I don't know, man. I, I, I like hack and slashes more than first-person shooters, so, like, I might play, I might play this just because, like, I like the genre more. Uh, but I, I can't imagine. I don't see this being good, you know what I mean? Like, it's still, for, it's still, like, made from a Western studio. It's still, like... Like, it's still not Japanese. Uh, I'm such a racist, the Japanese make better games than Westerners. Like, let's be real, uh, fuck Western work. Fuck the Western game industry. Uh, isn't it kind of interesting how, like, I'm racist against, like, my own people? <laughs> in that, in that sense. Like, oh, uh, I prefer Hispanics and Asians over white women. Uh, funny how no one brings that up as an issue. Oh, was... I got punked? Like, what? You just let that happen? He just stuck a knife in your back. <sighs> Absolutely pathetic. Oh, and here comes death, I guess. Your fate is decided. Everlasting damnation for your sins. For getting stabbed in the back? The bishop assured us. Come, face eternity. Soon you'll be joined by those whose lives you have ruined, whose souls you have damned. So he just gets back up, rips the knife out, and fights again. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Okay. There's such like there's such severe lacks of a uh, lo basic logic in these Western games. Like I, I don't understand how they just throw shit like this at you and expect it. Okay, please don't tell me there's no way to turn on uh, subtitles, because I I cannot stand it. Okay, I cannot stand it when games don't have subtitles. Okay. uh... 
Like, even this battle arena is lame. Okay, so you fight death as a first boss. Dude, I've already... So wait, wait. So when you die, you're gonna... You have to fight death in, like, a fight. And if you win, you get to stay alive. Is that how that works? Like, I had no idea. They didn't talk about that in, like, Sunday school. Like, shit, is this actual, like, Christian dogma that I wasn't aware of? Should I be training? Should I be, like, learning how to deal with his attacks? Like, shit, okay. Uh, so maybe video games are gonna pay off someday. Like, maybe I'll be so good at games that I'll be able to, like, just beat death when, uh, when it's time for me to fight him. Alright. Okay, shit, okay. Oh, damn. Oops. So if you beat death in a QTE, you'll be fine. Okay. Shit. That is gonna be... <laughs> That's ridiculous. Okay. Uh, okay. How often do you think he goes through this shit a day? Like, damn. Like, how often do they put up a fight? Like, all the soldiers have to do it, right? Because they want to keep fighting, surely. Like, unless you're, like, suicidal and want to die. Yeah, there would be, there would be people who would just go instead of, like, instead of just fighting him like this. Alright. I kind of love how getting stabbed in the back doesn't hinder you at all in your fight against fucking death. Just, uh, okay. Uh. Oh, wait, is this supposed to be a... Am I supposed to lose? Is, is that the point? Because this health is going down really slowly. And the game isn't great, but I, I don't hate it. Uh, and, like, the... I mean... I, I, I guess I do. I guess I don't like it either, but, like, it's not, like, offensively bad. You know what? Like... This game came out in 2010. Uh, games have gotten worse in the past decade. Just like they got worse from 2000 to 2010, right? Uh, they've gotten a lot worse. Um, oh, here we go. Wait, take his scythe from him and you kill death? Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Oh, it's not even really a scythe, is it? Oh, wait. Oh, you can, you can configure it. Okay. Stop. What does he mean, help you? Like, he was talking all this shit about, like, s about my sins. And, like, okay, whatever. Help me. No. No. Please. <laughs> what the fuck? And he can't handle it when, like, the coin is flipped, is it? Oh. <laughs> oh, no. He had no idea how to handle that. Like, death was so confident that I would just go quietly. Okay. What the fuck? Okay. So yeah, now that death is dead, I guess nobody dies anymore. We just, just keep on going. Oh, Beatrice. Oh, no. Uh, for the record, uh, one of my novels, The Black Castle, one of my works in progress is actually inspired by uh, the Divine Comedy, so I, I'm very familiar with Beatrice. <laughs> my, t my take on the story is ra uh, radically different than what you might be familiar with. Um, I'm, I actually do think uh, The Black Castle is one of the best things I've ever written. Uh, one of the most unique concepts I've ever come up with, so uh, I'm very excited to get back into that. It's been a... When did I last work on it? I think last year, maybe. I think I spent a little bit of time editing it, reading through it again. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go back and finish that, because I am... Uh, that one was uh, way beyond my skill level, I think. That was that was a project that I think was uh, a little bit too... A little bit too uh, highbrow for me, honestly. <laughs> well, is highbrow the way to put it? I mean, 
It was meant to be this really complex, like, gripping drama about a horror, um, but it was just, oof. Yeah, why did I stop making it? Did I... I don't remember why I stopped. I think I was just... Oh, wait. Oh, shit! You see titties! Uh, YouTube's not gonna like that. Uh, EA Games is responsible for this, uh... For this travesty. YouTube. Uh, it wasn't me. I didn't intentionally show titties on stream. Uh... I gave my word. So wait, do I have to go down to the hell to save her? Is that the plot of this game? So this is like the poor man's Bayonetta, because uh, Bayonetta actually rips uh, concepts from uh, Dante, uh, the Divine Comedy as well, like namely like the three realities, uh, Purgatorio, Human World, and uh, Paradiso. Oh, Inferno and Paradiso, like, excuse me. Purgatorio is like, in Bayonetta, is the one in between all of them. Yeah, I, I gotta read the Divine Comedy again. Do I own a physical copy? I believe I do. Um, I'm not sure where it is, though. I, I'm about to read it again. I I, uh, I read it, like, on my phone, like, digitally at first, and I really, really liked it. So, uh, I am I am definitely gonna... I, I definitely need to study it, like, more thoroughly. Uh, that was probably the big problem with the Black Castle. I, I wasn't familiar enough. I, I, I didn't, like, study it at, like, a scholarly level, uh, I think. I mean, I, I guess that was a good thing, because... Uh, one of my things is because, like, I don't go through, like, the, the typical education prog process when it comes, like, studying Shakespeare and shit like that. Like, uh, my, my perspective on these kind of classic stories is radically, radically different, I think, than most other people. Like, uh, I found it really, really interesting, like, the, uh, the relationship between Dante and Beatrice. How, like, he's so fucking devoted to this woman he spoke to, like, twice. And uh, I thought that was like kind of uh, kind of pathetic in a way. Like this guy is obsessing over this older woman who was just nice, who he met like tw like he was just completely infatuated with. Like, like it comes off like a bait. It comes off like a kind of a beta behavior, actually. Um, kind of. Um, again, like it, there's a bit more to it than that. Like, of course, you have like you have like cultural differences. Like, uh, I mean, things were different back then, I suppose. Uh, how many tits are in this game? Like, how how hard is YouTube gonna come down on me? Why, Dante? Why did you break your promise? I don't understand. <laughs> Dante. So, so they so they took so they made a game about the Divine Comedy. It made it a ripoff of Devil May Cry? Are you fucking serious? Oh, 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 for the record, uh, Dante was named after uh, Dante from um, the Divine Comedy. By all that is holy, I vow to forsake all the pleasures of the flesh until I return from this noble crusade. I mean, that, that's kind of my take on this, though. Like, why would you play this when you could play Devil May Cry or Bayonetta, which was like the same thing, but better? Really, especially Bayonetta. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I think I do prefer this over Devil May Cry, though. Maybe. Uh, but but I don't like Devil May Cry at all, honestly. Uh, I mean, this came out after Bayonetta, so that, that's kind of curious to me. Like, this feels really primitive compared to what Bayonetta did, like, just a year ago, a year before. Uh, you now have the power of Beatrice's Holy Cross. Press B to activate Holy Blast. So now you can fire crosses at people. So, like, it, it feels like <sighs> Castlevania did it better, Bayonetta did it better, fucking, fucking Devil May Cry may have done it better, I don't know. Um... No, I, I don't think this is worse than Devil May Cry, like, legitimately. Like, I, uh, I don't really see why I would, uh... I don't think I hate it more than Devil May Cry, like, uh... 
the original, I think it's definitely better than, like, I, I'm trying to decide whether I prefer the three or not. Um, which I, I don't know. Like, it, it depends on what the rest of the game is like, I think. The main reason I hate three so much is, like, the level layout and the, uh, the puzzles and shit like that. Like, I, I don't think action games should have puzzles like Devil May Cry does. Um, like, I, I think it hinders the entire thing. Um... Yeah, I, I didn't like Devil May Cry 3 at all near the end. Um, people say, like, the Virgil fight is, like, the best ever. I, I, I tell you, those people are just completely delusional. Let's see here. I mean, like, it, it's like with Crisis, right? Like, there's nothing... I, I don't see anything, like, really obvious, uh, obviously bad about this game, but, like... I can see myself getting bored of it, like, as I play through it. So, like, as a result, like, if it's not, like, the greatest thing ever, like, why why would I keep playing it? You know what I mean? Like, I have so much shit that I could be playing instead. Oh, wait, oops. Did they play as... I think they played a Super Bowl commercial for this at a... When this came out. And I, and I, think, I think I saw it. And, uh, I think it was, like, a CG trailer, and, like, I remember seeing it and having no idea what the game actually was. Um, I, I can't get over how much better Bandit that looks in this, though. Like, it really, really is kind of bizarre. Alright, here we go. Um, there's some fuck. Holy Warrior. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Wait, I died? Wait. Consume within thyself with thine own range. Oh, you get you get quotes from from the divine comedy when you die. Okay, that's great. That is that is great. Uh, okay, that might actually make playing through the game worth it. Just to see like quotes, because um, I'm not familiar enough with it to like quote it. You know, like uh, the way that I would like Harry Potter or whatever. Um, it's not because I don't want to, I just haven't been familiar with it long enough and read it enough times. Because, uh, again, I'm, I'm very, very busy. Um, I, I can't, like, study things like that anymore, I feel like. Wait, what am I supposed to do? Oh, Wait, are you supposed to just kill these guys and build up your meter? Wait, what are you supposed to do here? What's going on? Why am I lost? We are we, and we and are only so far punished. Oh fuck! Damn. I'm still trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do. Kill all of Hell's minions to bring down the great. Oh shit! Okay, so you gotta kill them all. Okay. Oh, oh, the fact that it says Hell instead of Inferno makes me think that the developers have no idea what they're talking about. But uh, okay, <laughs> like fucking Bayonetta knows uh, the Divine Comedy better than these, these fucks do. Like, here's the thing about Dante and Beatrice that I found really interesting. Like, Dante thought so highly of Beatrice that uh, his mentor, uh, Virgil, the uh, the pagan philosopher, uh, guided him through... I love how it sped, it up, sped up near the end. Uh, guided, through, guided him through Inferno and Purgatorio. But when it came time to, like, reach Paradiso, uh, Virgil was not permitted to go because uh, he was not a Christian. So, uh, Beatrice steps in to do it. So, like, Dante thought so highly of fucking Beatrice, he wrote her into this story and had her guide him through heaven to meet God. And I'm just like, fucking really? Like, really? You really think that highly of this bitch? That, like, she's on level? <laughs> she's on the same level? She's on such a high level, she can introduce you to the Lord himself? Like, come on. All right. Yeah. Like, she's not that special, Dante. Like, come on. Um. Okay.
Yeah, I, I've got to read it again. I, I gotta. I, I would like to understand more of the finer points, uh, really. That, that's my big thing because I have read it, but like a lot of it, I don't want to say a, a, I don't say it mostly went over my head, but like a lot, a lot of like, a lot of like the, a lot of like the uh, the references, I would like to understand a bit more. For, like certain events, history, people, uh, myths, th things like that. Um, like I understand like the um, the poem as a whole, I think. But, um, here we go. Fuck. Fuck. Don't leave me, Dante. Oh, no. Where am I supposed to go? Wait. Beatrice, where are you? Like, where, where do you need me to go? Like, be a bit more specific. Like, shit. All right. Wait, do I need to kill these guys? Like, why do they keep coming? Like, wait. Now, this is another thing Bayonetta has over Dante's Inferno. Like, in Bayonetta, you actually always know where you're going. All right. Uh, oh, banish out of heaven, people despise. Whence is this arrogant within you coached? Couched? Uh, whatever. My God, what have I done? What have I done? I'm shocked YouTube didn't take on the stream, you know, like, uh, Beatrice tits. Like, is that... Do they allow, like, uh... EA games. Do they allow gaming tits? Like, I guess that must be it. Like, it must be, like, animated so they didn't flag it immediately. Because I've heard they take immediately take down tits. Like, I would never intentionally show tits on stream, right? Uh, I, I know we all love them. I know we all love titties, but uh, I, I would never fucking do it. Like, I would never, like, uh, uh, bring up that uh, scene in The Godfather where, like, uh, Michael marries his Mexican wife. Like, what's her name? What is her name? I keep... Her I need to watch The Godfather again. It's been a while. I can't remember her name. Is it Apollyanna? I think it is. Because I, I think I named a character after her. Uh, uh, the protagonist of Lightning Ike, I believe, is named after her. Uh, I be Shit, I can't even rem remember. <laughs> like, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check. But, but I think it was Apollyanna. So, like, Apollyanna... Um, so there's a scene in that movie where, like, Michael goes down to Mexico to go in hiding after, like, he kills those, uh, corrupt cops. Uh, by the way, <laughs> uh, Michael did, <laughs> Michael did more to, uh, to stop corruption in the police force than Black Lives Matter ever did, apparently. Um, so, um, so Michael goes into hiding in Mexico, and, uh, he ends up marrying this, uh, Mexican chick. Uh, this really hot fucking Mexican chick, uh, Apollyanna, so he, uh, he goes down there, he basically, like, big dicks her dad into letting uh, her marry him. And then, like, they, so they sort of, uh, they sort of get married, it's a lot of fun. Um, and then they go up, go up, and, uh, have sex. And, like, uh, like, I, I was watching this for the first time, uh, in the theater, uh, when it first came out in 1971. Uh, <laughs> uh, watching this movie, just being like, okay, um, <laughs> okay, uh, what, <laughs> what is gonna happen here? Like, what is gonna happen? They're just gonna, they're just gonna cut away, they're gonna, like, tease you, they're gonna, like, uh, get you hyped up, they're gonna, like, um, they're gonna just cut away, like, right before they're gonna have sex. So, like, Michael just takes her up there, like, I think they, like, kiss or whatever. I come into a place mute of all light. So, like, they, they, they just kiss, and then, like, you're expect- I, I expected the camera to just sort of, like, pan away, alright? I, I expected to, like, cut to black or whatever. Instead, what happens is that the camera just- stays focused on her as like Michael re reaches up and like removes her uh, removes her top and like shows off her like majestic fucking bazoongas and I'm just like sitting there just being like fuck yes like fuck yes titties wonderful wonderful um love the godfather great movie like I, I was not expecting that because like I was just sitting there being like oh man like her tits look amazing I would love to see them, and then they showed them, and I was just like, yeah, way, way to go, movie. Way, way to go. Fuck yes. Okay. Yeah, I, I really like Mexican Woman, if you uh, haven't, if you haven't uh, realized. 
Alright, here we go. Shit. Yeah, I literally am pro wall, but like, I like Mexican women. I don't. <laughs> like, <laughs> kind of weird, uh, I, I guess you could say. Well, I, I guess not really, because like, a lot of, uh, a lot of Mexican chicks are uh, pro chompers. A lot of them are. Like, the ones who are here, like, legitimately are very pro Um. Wait, what just happened? Wait. 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 What are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to, like... Wait. Yeah, what just happened? Why did that... Why did that fall down? What, what happened? Uh, onto what torment come ye, who down the hillside are descending? Are they just throwing in random quotes? I don't... I don't recognize these. Of course, I don't have the entire poem memorized or anything, but... Uh, yeah, I think I I think I am done though. I, I would I don't know. Do I, should I keep playing this? Does it get better? Because I I imagine it doesn't. But uh, Oh, Arizona was definitely right. Like I legit think all these um all these um all these battleground states are going to flip to Trump, especially Georgia, especially or Arizona. Um but I expect Pennsylvania, Michigan, and Nevada will flip to um Yeah, I don't think I'm really legitimately enjoying this. Uh I mean, I guess it's not awful, but I I mean, I I can play better, obviously. Like I could do better. Let's see here. Should I try Dragon Age? I mean, I don't. I'm not in the mood for like an RPG or like watching cutscenes. Like I've been skipping cutscenes all day, so I'm just like, yeah, let's. Uh, should I play some more Kingdom Hearts three? Like I might as well, since I've actually watched Tangled. Um, I think it's high time we go back to Kingdom Hearts three and like keep playing it until we rage again. Uh, because I am a big fan of Tangled. Now, now that I've actually sat down and seen Tangled, I really, really liked it. Uh, I thought it was cute as fuck. Um. I thought it was wholesome. I thought that, like, uh, I think it was a really good movie, uh, honestly. Uh, I, I like that kind of thing, so. Um, I've got, I still gotta watch Frozen. Um, I'll probably do that when I get to the Frozen world here. Nope. Th that's been my thing for years. Like, I don't watch Disney movies until they come out in Kingdom Hearts. Um, like, Kingdom Hearts is the only reason, uh, probably the only reason I still watch Disney movies, honestly. Because, like, I mean, obviously I'd be a fan of, like, the ones I watched when I was younger, but, like, I don't think I would seek them out if it wasn't for Kingdom Hearts. Uh. Winnie the Pooh characters are... So, like, does, uh, does Disney still not technically own Winnie the Pooh? Like, how, how does that work? Like, I don't... They don't own Tarzan, I know that. They were allowed to, uh, to make a movie. Throwing Roxas in there? Like, come the fuck on, Sora. Are you so lonely you throw yourself into, like, a <laughs> an image full of all your friends? Like, Riku's not there, Kyrie's not there. Well, Kyrie not being there is to be expected considering this game seems this series seems to hate her and pretend she doesn't exist Kyrie was like one of my all-time favorite g gaming love interests and now she's nothing now she basically doesn't exist like come on all right so uh what should i do how, how long should i play this should i um should i beat corona like should i beat uh covid19 should i beat like the tangled world or like do you think i should play it past that i guess Every time I play this game, I just hate it more. Like, I put like five hours into it when I last played it, and uh, when I play, um, I put like what five hours in this game. I have no interest in continuing. Uh, if it wasn't for streaming, I probably wouldn't bother. Yeah, four and a half hours. Yeah, we gotta find Rapunzel. See where we're going. 
it's so frustrating that I hate this game so much, because, like, the environments are, like, objectively way better than they've ever been. Like, I love the environments in this game. They are such a big improvement. They're still pretty awful by, like, most game standards, but, like, by Kingdom Hearts standards, these are, like, the greatest things ever. Um, I don't understand why Kingdom Hearts is so bad at, like, certain things, like, um, voice acting and animations and, uh, well, maybe not combat animations, but, like, cutscene animations. Um, environments, level design, and then like pretty good at like combat, or they used to be good at combat. Now that now they've like been com it's been completely squandered. Uh, it's completely pointless. <laughs> like it's legit, like just mash A to win at this point. Like it's so bad, it is so bad. I don't understand how anybody finds this appealing. Like I just, I don't enjoy it. I don't find it fun. It's like. Ugh. I took, like, what, like, a couple month long break from playing this, and I'm already bored. Like, I, I, I legit don't expect I'll ever finish this game. Like, I, I, I don't think I will. I don't think I'll be able to do it. I, I can't stomach it. Like, it's so bad. Like, the only reason I'm playing it now is because I want to see more of my waifu, uh, Rapunzel. I, I, I guess she is a waifu at this point, considering I like her so much. Uh... Isn't this, like, considered the waifu dating sim level of Kingdom Hearts 3? Which is weird as fuck, considering Sora and, like, Rapunzel don't really get together. Like, he... I, I keep bringing this up, but, like, it really does... It's weird, like, the way this plays out. Like, you would think that, like, Sora and Rapunzel would get along really, really well. Like, better than, like, Flynn and uh, Rapunzel actually do, actually. But, like, it doesn't actually happen, because that's not what happens in the movie. Sora was not there in the movie, obviously, but it's just... I, I hate to keep bringing that up, but, like, it, it bothers me. Like, it really does. Like, fuck Sora. Like, Come on, Sora, you're the Keyblade Master. You're, you're allowed one side chick a world, okay? Like, Kyrie will completely understand. Okay. Okay, uh... I hate the special attacks, they're like so uninteresting, they're so... They're not, they're not all, at all fun to use. Like, it's just... How do they botch it this this badly? Like, I don't... I don't get it. Uh, I'm already bored to death. Like, I... I, I, I just can't do it. Like, I'm gonna try to get to the next save point, but, like, I... Just so I don't have to go through this again, but I'm just like, I, I, I don't understand how it's so bad. Like I, I really don't. All right. Like, I would not bother if it wasn't, uh, if I wasn't such a fan of the original. Like, I would have dropped this a long time ago. Well, I, I did drop it. Like, oof. it's weird to think that like if I played this. Uh, played Kingdom Hearts a little later in life, if I didn't play the original, I probably wouldn't be a fan now. I'd probably, I'd probably shit on it the same way I shit on, like, every other PlayStation franchise, but no. I can climb walls? Uh. Hey, that, don't remind me I could be playing Super Mario Sunshine Donald. Uh, where's Rapunzel? I don't know, probably down here. Uh. Here we go, a cutscene. Oh, great. We gotta, we gotta sit through another Kingdom Hearts cutscene. Another wacky cutscene. Just... Whoa, 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 Easy, boy, easy. Huh? Settle down. Whoa, whoa. That voice. It's Rapunzel. Maximus, the fucking sword. I love Maximus. The fucking horse. Such 
a good boy. Yes, you He's are. not a dog. He's a horse. Okay. Are you all tired from chasing this bad man all over the place? Excuse me? Nobody appreciates you, do they? Do they? Oh, come on. He's a bad horse. Oh, he's nothing but a big sweetheart. Isn't that right? Maximus? What? You've got to be kidding me. Look, today is kind of the biggest day of my life. And the thing is, I need you not to get him arrested. Just for 24 hours, and then you can chase each other to your heart's content. Okay? Sora's not even here, and they reanimated the entire thing. Like, ugh. And it's also my birthday. Just so you know. Like, scenes like this, it's just like, Rapunzel, just watch the entire movie. Uh. You're here, and you're okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, <laughs> oh, you cuck. Yeah, you too. Rapunzel sounds so happy and to see look, him. I need a friend. Meet Maximus. You can say Flynn introduced us. And where one goes, the other follows. This no. is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. They've been helping me. Come on. Sora, Goofy, and Donald? She didn't do the uh, the Sora, Donald, Goofy thing. Like, everyone else always does it in the exact same way. Sora, Donald, and Goofy. But she says Sora, Goofy, and Donald? Like, Rapunzel is not like the other thoughts. Like, okay. Uh, Alright, here we go. Let's go. Make your way to the kingdom. Alright, let's go. It's so pretty. How about we stop for a second and enjoy the scenery? Even Goofy wants us to, like, get together. Like, shit, okay. Uh, hang on, wait. Oh, is it not actually a, an icon thing? Because, like, early on, you can interact with the environment and, like, basically do all these, like, romantic Disney movie things with Rapunzel. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. It's just... Uh, okay. It's like the developers wanted you to ship them. It's just... Okay. Okay, uh... Road to the castle. Okay, wait, where am I going? This way, Sora. Oh, that's Come right. On. Let's swing across and look for a path. Wait, what? Come on. Oh, okay, she takes my hand. Oh, but okay. What about everyone else? Like, how did everybody else get over here? Okay, whatever. Ugh. Whatever, whatever, Kingdom Hearts. That doesn't make any you sense. But, okay. Oh. Road to the castle. All right, let's go. Um, you know, maybe we should just. I, I think I'm just gonna blitz all the way through. I don't. I don't give a shit. Uh, Sora, this looks like a good place to cross. Again, she really wants to keep holding my hand. How lewd can you get? Okay. Forget the rest of the guys. They can just fall out right behind you. Ugh, okay. Yeah. It's so bad. I I just can't get over. Like I don't like the lo I don't like the combat at all. Like I legit think I'm just going to run through the game. Maybe I'll grind when, like, I need to beat a boss or something, but I, I don't think there's really any point in fighting. Like, it just... I think I'm just gonna get to point A to point B. Wait, what? No, again? With the hand-holding? You bitch! Alright. Oh, sorry, you show off. Like, come on. I love how Flynn is, like, honestly not even there. Like, he's just letting, like, Sora fucking cuck him in this way. Like, Rapunzel, the best day of her life, is spending most of her time with Sora. Like, it's just... Like, Flynn doesn't have a shot. Like, he doesn't. Like, oops. Oh, wow. 
Like, he really does not have a shot. And it's just... Ugh. Okay. There is no shot, Flynn. All right. Oh, I, did, I did save the game, but um, I think I'll try to reach the next save point before I stop and uh, uninstall the game. I, I'm sorry. I, I just can't do it. Like, this game is just a complete train wreck. I don't get how anyone can take this seriously. You gotta be kidding. What the fuck is this shit? Alright. Alright. And they're reusing like the a lot of soundtracks from Kingdom Hearts 2 as well. Like, it feels very, very similar to Kingdom Hearts 2. Like, it doesn't feel like its own thing a lot of times. Uh, hang on. Wait. Do I not have any items? Why is Donald not healing me? Okay, uh... There we go. Yeah, way to, way to go, Goofy. Where's my cure? Yeah, I, I really can't stand this game. There's just nothing. There's just nothing about it that's appealing to me. Um, speaking as a longtime fan of the original, like, like legit, I think the only thing um, really appealing to me in this one is the uh, is the new Disney worlds. Because like there is a there is a bunch more that I really wanted to see in this one, um, and I did get to see Tangled because of this, which is nice. But like, other than that, which we got? Other than that, like, really? All right. Wait, why isn't this guy dying? Oh, here we go. Did we get him? Wait, what? Okay. What? He transformed. So, like, they're Transformers now? Alright. Yeah, maybe I should, like, get back into combat, because I think, like, encounters like this are a bit too difficult. There we go. I need to watch Pirates of the Caribbean again. I gotta watch Frozen. Um, yeah, I'll probably watch Frozen tonight. It's on my list. It has been for a while. Um, after I finish watching The Mask of Zorro, at any rate. The Mask of Zorro seems fucking amazing, going by what I've seen of it. I'm just like, love, it. love this fucking stuff. Um, hey, what, what? Why did he get? Oh, wait. Is the fight over? Did I beat him? No. Wait, what is this goofy shit? Wait. So what, all three of you team up for a shield bash? What, what, what sense does that make? You shove him so it does a lot more damage? Wait, yeah. This thing is just... No. That's just dumb. Like, so many of these moves are just stupid in this one. Like, in the original, they were cool and awesome. In two, they were... Uh, the moves were cool and awesome. But this one, just... Uh, nah. I really not have any items at all. Ugh. Somebody heal me. Like, come on. And if I had magic, you know, like you would in the original, I would just heal myself, but no. 
Oops. There we go. Wait, who healed me? Huh. Okay. Okay, we got him. Oh, wait, oh no, he has more. He has multiple forms. Okay. So you have to kill each body. It, what, what sense does that make? He has like, he has a he has a thing in each shell. Like, huh? Uh, what a ridiculous design for a boss. Remember when Heartless actually used to look good? When they actually look like uh, actual monsters, like otherworldly creatures. Now they're like ridiculous looking. Remember when Kingdom Hearts had this like mystical like my it had this like mystical feeling to it like it meant something more than what it was like showing like and now they can't really uh, they can't really replicate that feeling they did back in the day. All right, here we go. Got him. Super jump. Okay, we got super jump. While in flow motion, press B to perform a super jump that lets you reach otherwise unreachable heights. All right. So, but you just unlock moves in this one. All right, whatever. And how does super jump work? Or oh, whatever. I guess that doesn't matter. Uh, so, what, am I gonna play through like what thirty minutes of this every six months? Like, what am I gonna finish this game when I'm fifty? Like, it's just... oh look, I see some birds this way. Some birds. Wait, come Disney on. princesses and their birds. Like, what, what? What's the deal with that? Like, they all do it. They all like, oh look, birds. Like, what the fuck is so interesting about birds? I don't, I don't get it. Like, it's just like, that way, Sora. Yeah. which way is that way? All right. right, it's an open world. All right. Did I just ignore her? She sounded so disappointed. Okay, okay, yeah. That I am done. Like, I am completely. Done. I, I can't do this anymore. It's so bad. <sighs> So, like, I legit like, hate, like, everything we've played so far. Uh, not a single thing that uh, I found enjoyable at all. Uh, wait. So, wait, what, what's been added? Yeah, Star Wars Battlefront. I am really curious as to how, like, how this stuff is going to hold up. Uh, oh, hang on, that's not right. Uh. Fable, Fable 3, uh, Dragon Age Inquisition. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is. Ma made of Skur. This was on a. Uh, this was on Xbox Gold, I think. Uh, so I might, I might as well play it. I, I don't know what this is at all. Again, like the entire point of like this show is to cover all these terrible, terrible Xbox games, laugh at how shitty they are, and then like talk about how much better Nintendo is. So it's just. Uh, Okay. Oh yeah, Hyrule Warriors uh, Age of Calamity comes out in eight days, so I'm really, really excited for that. Um, my most anticipated release, I think, in the next couple of months. I'm not sure if anything else is even coming out this year. Nothing came out this year, other than, like, fucking Animal Crossing, which admittedly was pretty good. Like, it, it was nothing but disappointment all around, I think, uh, from all consoles. Maybe, uh, maybe not Switch, um... It's kind of difficult to say, honestly. I mean, I, I think I'm pretty confident saying that. Like, yeah, let's, let's just blame Corona. Let's just blame that. Oh, it's actually letting me turn on subtitles. Good. Okay, let's let's see what this is about. Uh, safe. For those who want to focus on atmosphere and story, you are locked in this mode once you start. Enemies and damage are removed from the game. Some enemies are removed. We're going to start with easy, because I'm terrible at horror, horror games in general. Um, so if the game is bad, I should be able to tell even on easy. Uh, like, playing on a higher difficulty doesn't make the game better, Dear Devil May Cry fans. Uh, these are not words I wish to write. 
My father has learned of our plans, my love. Yet there is more, far worse, that I wish you to understand, but I fear you may believe me taken with madness. My father seeks to use me. As I have come to believe, he used my poor mother. Wait, used? He wishes me to sing for him as she did. To become the star attraction that will draw good folk to this accursed spit of land. My refusal to do so has led to my confinement here at Scare Hotel. I cannot explain further, but ask that you trust me. Oh no. I beseech you to compose a melody for me. A counter to the song contained within this locket of my mother's. Wait, what? I realize this request will seem strange, that your first thought will be to come straight here. But without your composition, all hope of holding back the darkness gathering here will be lost. What does that mean? Always, Elizabeth. They're always Elizabeth. Like, always Elizabeth. Like, it's always an Elizabeth. Shit. Uh. Alright, let's see if she's as annoying as uh, Elizabeth from Bioshock Infinite. Yeah, Bioshock Infinite was definitely one of the most overrated games of the last decade. Um, awful, awful, right? Um... Oh no, how, how scary, how horrifying. The maid of Skur. So wait, wait, I'm going to a hotel. I'm going up against an evil maid. Is that what this game is about? A fucking maid? Like, what, what a great original concept. <laughs> That's never been done before. Wow, how te um, Bam. Well, let's see what the game is like. Uh... <sighs> I think I might get some tea, though. While we're waiting. <sighs> okay. Music sheet, Thomas Evans. So I guess I am Thomas Evans. I am a musician and therefore um, clearly not willing to marry this woman, but uh, I will compose music for her. All right. Um. Oh, the train is... Uh... Our, tra Our train's actually this small? Maybe it's just maybe it's just this one. It, it, it seems kind of cramped in there. Maybe it's just the camera angle, but uh, the trains I've been on are quite a bit bigger than that. All right. They they feel a bit bigger than that. All right, let's go. Let's go. All right. Uh, So when, when are we going to get our first jump stare, a scare? What do you think? Like, it usually takes like 20 minutes to get there. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm playing this when I still haven't beaten Resident Evil 7. I, I got to get on that. Beware of the dog. Fucking dog. Okay, so we got to avoid the dog. Okay, so the dog of Skur. So yeah, fuck the maid. We have to deal with dogs. We're, we're, a cat. we're, we're strictly a cat person. Uh. Ugh. Oh, you can save. Oh, who are these? is this what the hell is this okay elizabeth uh, maybe you're right in one, not wanting to pursue a career in music all right uh
All right, so when does the horror start? I'm just walking through this hallway, uh, just trying to figure out when something is going to happen. Oops, I got stuck on a rock. That's the scariest thing to happen so far. Uh, why are all these horror games the same? I don't understand. They're all railroaded as fuck. They all rely on, like, uh, on cutscenes and, like, not giving you weapons. It's just... Ugh. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a dog. Like, I thought that was, like, a freakish creature, but no, it's just, it's just a dog. It's man's best friend. Oops. Hang on, where's the... Wait, why couldn't I open it? Where'd the dog go? He just runs off? Like, what dog sees you and then just runs off? Ugh, okay. That dog didn't seem like it was, uh... I need to be wary of it. It was just a dog. Yeah, they all have this, like, moody, atmospheric music. I haven't played a good horror, a horror game I've really, really liked in years. Like, I legit think Eternal Darkness is the last one I really, really enjoyed. Uh, and that game's, like, really unique and creative. Like, that's the thing that gets me about the genre. Is like, none of them are really all that, uh... They don't really push the boundaries in a lot of ways. Ever. It's just... Ooh, some things are scary. It's just... It's like they don't have a, a defined... It's not even really a genre. It's like... It's like an aesthetic. It's like a theme. It's not really a... Alright. It's like a walking simulator a lot of times. Alright. Grand reopening. Alright. To the Hotel California. All right. Use the phonograph to save your game. Alright. When does this take place? Like, did they give us a specific date? Like, 19th century. Right? In the UK. What is with these? What's with these? What's with the lighting? All right. Uh. Oh. Map. A oh, phone. In loving memory of Prudence Williams. Wait, who the fuck? The maid of Skur. May your song live on forever. All right. Uh. Fucking songs. All right. Thomas, my Thomas. You do not know how wonderful what? it is to hear. But I'm a silent protagonist! Okay. I prayed that you received it, hope that you would come. I know my request must have seemed strange, and I fear it was all for naught, that everything has changed now. I do not have the words or heart to voice it. It is far too terrible to recount. Please be careful, my love. This place is no longer safe. Uh, what? Be a bit more specific, upstairs, Elizabeth. But I cannot leave the attic. I've had to lock and bar the door, hide away from the others. What others? My father and uncle. They have been beguiled by the darkness that inhabits this place. So it's an evil hotel? I've, I've never seen this. I've never heard this before. Attacking anyone that makes a sound. Red rum! Please Red please. rum! All right. Listen uh. carefully. Together we can put a stop to all of this. <laughs> Together we can My stop all this. recordings on brass cylinders of a soft, a strange melody that affects the mind. 
The Song of Healing? All of the cylinders are played together on the harmonium. Yeah, imagine with this entire this thing was just a built up to like an origin story for you the Song of Healing. And bring them to me. And it ends with the happy mass salesman like taking it to uh, the link. All right. You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? <sighs> yeah, I don't I don't find anything about this interesting. Uh, I do think I'm going to delete this. Um, I mean, I might as well see what the monster looks like, right? I, I think that's going to be my, my big thing. Like, how do they set up the monster? Like, is that what I do? Should I just set up the monster and see how that how, see how that goes? Uh, let me see here. Oh, where's the staff? Like, this is a hotel and there's no front desk. Like, can I just ring a bell? Okay, this is a map. Okay, so... Is there no map screen? Oh, wait, there is, but... Okay, whatever. Eighteen ninety-seven. Okay, I thought so. I'm actually really hungry. Uh... I mean, I ate before I went live, but that was a while ago. Yeah, I was tired before I went live. I, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe I should just stop here. I am, I'm really not enjoying this. But the monster, man, I gotta see what the monster looks like. Ugh. Oh. I don't even know where to go. That's uh, kind of a buzzkill. Alright, yeah, I think I am. Done with this. Uh, not a fan. All right. Not a fan of how that turns out. I played some like Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I didn't really like that either. Uh, I mean, I wasn't huge into the old original Mirror's Edge anyway, and uh, Catalyst didn't win over even like the most hardcore fans. So, uh, all right. Let's see here. Resident Evil Seven. Uh, Shadows of the Damned. Yeah, we, as, we might as well stop. Start uh, Shadows of the Damned, right? Oops. There you go. Let's see. Yeah, I might as well play some Titanfall. Did I get through the tutorial or what? I think that's what I was doing. I was going through the tutorial, then I got bored and then stopped. Like, legit, like, I didn't think Titanfall played all that badly. From, like, a... Uh, from, like, a, a control perspective. It actually felt like an actual evolution of the... Of the, uh, the first-person shooter genre. So that was actually... That was actually surprisingly refreshing. Um, but of course it's no spot two and of course it's no devil's third well, EA really tried selling people on this game but it didn't catch on at all I don't hear anyone talking about Titanfall like for a while there there was like a really dedicated shilling campaign on NeoGAF about how like the uh There was a really dedicated uh, shilling campaign trying to convince people that, like, the campaign for Titanfall 2 was one of the best campaigns in any first-person shooters ever, which was just ridiculous to me. Um, yeah, I I'm going to play Titanfall 2 just to see if that's true or not. I, I doubt it. But, uh, let's see. Attrition... Wait, is anybody actually... A 
Okay, how does this actually work? Wait. So you have to download a free map pack? Why? Why do you need to download a season pass? I mean, it's free, but why wasn't it just in the... What was the point of that? Like... All players worldwide. 386. Wow. Wow. Uh, look at how no one is playing any of these modes. Like everyone is just playing attrition. Yeah, we'll have to wait until that uh, that gets installed. Uh, I can't believe that. Like, fucking really? <laughs> you have to download a... Okay, whatever. Uh, so, have we, have we gotten through everything? Uh, not everything. There's some social that needs to download. Oh, Alice. I've heard good things about Alice, but I know nothing about it. Um, I'm surprised they have, like... They imitated, like, the Disney design. Like, they gave her black hair, but, like, the, the frock is... Um, the dress, like, that's... Uh, that's pretty, pretty commonly associated with like the Disney version, I think. So like, I'm surprised they got away with that, honestly. Uh, that's legit. Like one of the main reasons I uh, wanted to play these. I, I've heard nothing but good things about these games, but uh, I've never played them. I know nothing about them. Uh, you know, maybe I should play it. Come back and play it later, though. I am kind of tired. I I kind of want to end the stream here. Spicy horse. This game supports autosave. All right, I might as well get through like the uh, the opening cutscenes or whatever. Yeah, I like the character design. Uh... Wait, what? Oh, did they pack in the original into this? Wait, what? Wait, what's... 2,000? So who the fuck is American McGee? Like, I have no idea. Okay, I love how I played the new one, and then I, I go back and play this. Uh, they actually packaged it in an old game in, 2000, in 2011? Instead of just making it downloadable? Really? Well, uh, I probably should play the new one. Because that's the one I downloaded, but... Alright, uh... Ah, oh, man, Lewis Carroll. I know those illustrations well. Anything about this game? Uh. Mom? Dad? I... So what was this? A PC game back in 2000? Back when PC gaming was still relevant? <laughs> uh. How old is she? And she's still sleeping with that rabbit doll? Grow up, Alice. Shit. Oh wait, bars on her window? Is she in a hospital? A mental hospital? Oh, she went insane doing her adventures in Wonderland. <laughs> what? <laughs> so can anybody like tell me like what this game actually is? Because I, I have no idea at all. Uh, I, I didn't even know this first this game existed, like the 2001. Uh, 
uh, back down to back down to Wonderland. Please don't dawdle, Alice. We're very late. <laughs> what the fuck is that thing? <laughs> Still curious. <laughs> She's a teenager now. What did you expect? Wonderland's become quite strange. How is one to find her way? As knowing where you're going is preferable to being lost, ask. Rabbit knows a thing or two, and I myself don't need a weather vane to tell which way the wind blows. Let your need guide your behavior. Suppress your instinct to lead. Pursue, Rabbit. I think these designs are like more unsettling like the shit I saw in Dark Souls. Like what what the fuck is this? I okay, this is great. Okay. Uh Our land is destroyed. Our spirit. What is this like reminds me of the asylum. Is there no joy here? Asylum? She's in an asylum? Alright. Consider a leap of faith. Ride the wind. I don't get what's with like this um, these modern interpretations of Alice and making them as like as dark as fucking possible. Like I, I don't get it. Like where's like ugh. that wasn't what the uh, the original was like, was it? No trouble, stranger, the Red it keeps coming up, and I'm not really sure why. I'm not a huge Alice fan, but was, really. you should stand up to them. Defiance is useless. While the queen reigns, only death can release us from this misery. Or her death, I suppose. Off with her head. All right. Better essence is the life force of Wonderland. That of your enemies is especially potent. Collect what you can. Use it wisely. All right, so what does that mean? I, what am I supposed to do? Uh, whatever. Uh... Is this where I came from? I think it, I think it is. <gasps> Here we go. This is where we're supposed to go. All right. Yeah, should I finish this one before I actually play like the the, the actual game? Oh, here we go. Your knife is necessary, but not sufficient. Always collect what's useful. Reject only your ignorance, and you may survive. Yeah, I think I'm really into this. Uh, I mean, obviously, like, I think it kind of has pacing problems, but, like, this is the 2000s. This is, like, an early 2000s game, so. Everyone seems completely dejected. Are things really as bad as all that? True. To reduce you to a fluttering baby. Are you the savior Rabbit has been telling us about all this time? I shouldn't think so. I'm a person. And just now, I wish to get very small. About this big. Uh. Calls for serious twisting. You'll need to go sideways, not forward. If I knew how, I'd go sideways myself. Not twisted, small. I wish to become about this big. The fortress adores hold such secrets. But it will take more than a wish to get inside. Doors have locks. Locks need keys. Which <laughs> if only we had a keyblade. The doors are open. If only Alice had a keyblade. Maybe more than one way to skin a cat, if you'll pardon the expression. Most unpleasant metaphor. Please avoid it in future. <laughs> oh, the cat calling you out on your shit. Like what the fuck, Alice? All right. Uh. So why is she in an asylum? Why, how the fuck can you establish that Alice is in a, an asylum and not really go into why? Is this a sequel? Like, was there an original? Like, I don't... Alright, uh... Only a few find a way. Some don't recognize it when they do. Some don't ever want to. Wait, why can't I jump up? Can you not pull yourself up in this game? Oh, here we go. Wait, here we go. A champion would come. 
What is this champion shit? Like the Tim Burton version did this too. Yeah, I think I like this a lot, actually. So yeah, the best game on EA Game Plus is the one that like no one told me anything about. Fucking Alice. All right. So hopefully, um, oh, oops, oops. Hopefully, uh, people check this out. All right, so I'll, I'll definitely come back and play this. Uh, the main reason I don't want to continue is because I uh, I'm really really tired. Uh, oops, wait, I thought it. Oh, that's right. It it's, it auto saves, right? Wait, did it say this one auto saves or was it the? Uh... Oh, okay. Uh... In general, yeah, yeah, I really like Game Pass. Um, th there is plenty of shit on Game Pass, but like for the most part, I, I really like it. Uh, I think it updates pretty regularly. I think it breathes new life into some older games. Uh, like this, um, I think it lets people like play a lot of stuff they've never heard of. Um, Yakuza's on there. Like th there have been good things about Game Pass, but there there have also been a lot of a lot of bad games and. Uh, but, that, that, but I'm a critic, so it's kind of a good thing for me to, like, have access to, like, a method to uh, to play everything that comes out um, at a pretty reasonable price point. So, uh, yeah, again, like, I've already played a bunch of shit I never would have bought because of because of this. So, yeah, I'm, I'm very happy with that. So I, I would recommend it if you play a bunch of games. Like, my thing is, like, if you're only going to play, like, one or two games a year, like, like just buy them. You don't need Game Pass. Like, just... Okay. Um, like, uh, that's kind of my thing about Game Pass. Like, how much would normal audiences want to play stuff like Alice? Or, like... Like, I don't, I don't think that, like, the really good games on Game Pass would really be all that popular with general audiences. And all this stuff that is would everybody already plays. Oh, wait, 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 what? Wait, why, why can't she climb up? Oh, wait. Alice, climb up! All right, uh. Hey, what's this portal? I mean, the last I heard about this franchise, American McGee was trying to make, like, a, a new one. Um, and I don't know what the status of that is. Like, I mean, I know it's not going to happen, but uh, I don't know what the exact reasoning EA had. I mean, it, it, the games don't do well, because EA just rejects everything that's not, you know, super, super safe. And this isn't safe at all. Uh, this is not the sort of thing that people will just go out and buy. Uh, I mean, maybe, a, maybe Nintendo could pick it up. I mean, every good game, like, Nintendo can just pick up... Uh, here we go. Oops. Yeah, I think I'm ready to stop uh, to end the stream. Uh, I, I really like this game, but I, I think I am gonna. Oof. Let's see. Ah, right, here we go. Just there we go. Just do that. Yeah. Okay. So there is an auto save. So I'm just gonna end. The, I'm just gonna um, maybe play something else. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I, I own Rare Replay. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Uh, should I play some Yakuza Kiwami before I go off? Uh, I might as well, right? Nah, nah, I think I am. I think I am done. All right, so thank you all for tuning in. Uh, be sure to check out Black 